Hey there, today I'm going to be benchmarking the Intel Celeron G470 in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. The Intel Celeron G470 is a single core CPU released in 2013, making it one of the newest single core CPUs to ever be released, and also it's one of the fastest single core CPUs to ever be released as well. I am pairing the Intel Celeron G470 with 24GB of DDR3 RAM at 1600MHz. The CPU doesn't support RAM that fast, but at least according to Task Manager, that's what it's running at. And I am also pairing it with an SSD for the boot drive and the game drive, and I am using a GTX 980Ti as the graphics card, and I am also using the latest NVIDIA drivers for the GTX 980Ti as of October of 2024. Starting off, I am playing at 1080p on what appears to be the high settings, question mark, minus the render distance. For some reason, the game wanted to automatically default to 39 chunks. Yes, 39. That is absurd. I lowered it all the way down to the minimum. Yeah, 39 chunks is not going to work on this Intel Celeron. Fun story, before I started recording, I tried opening the game on the stock 39 render distance and the game just simply crashed. Well, it didn't crash, it just went to an idle CPU usage when loading the world up and it just never loaded, it got stuck and gave up. Either way, with the stock 5 chunk render distance, the game is running pretty good. Uh, it's not really giving me that many lag spikes. The 1% lows are mostly above 30 FPS, which is a very nice thing to see. The average frame rate is almost 60, it's around 58, 59, and overall it is running very nice. Although, the chunks are loading in extremely slow. If you're playing survival mode you might not notice it, but if you're flying around you will definitely notice that the chunks just kind of don't want to load in. It's kind of more of a suggestion for them to load in, rather than them actually loading in. But that's alright, if you're just running around in the world, again, you probably won't notice. Either way, I decided to up the settings a little bit, so I set the render distance to 10 chunks, and I turned off fancy graphics and view bobbing, and I teleported to a village, and that hurt the frame rate quite a bit. It went down to around 45, which, don't get me wrong, I mean, it was perfectly playable, even with 45 frames per second. I did experiment with some frame rate caps, one through the game and one through Rivia Tuner, and they didn't really help smooth anything out. If anything, it made it slightly worse, surprisingly. Usually that's not the case. So I find it's best to just leave the game uncapped for some reason. But that's alright, at least you get slightly better frame rate like that. But running around with 10 chunks render distance, it's not that good, but it's definitely playable. Later on, I did go over and try turning off fancy leaves and lowering the render distance down to 8. But that didn't really improve the frame rate all that much, so it seems like 5 chunks is the best you can do if you want frame rate, but if you kind of want to see at least a little bit far, stick to 8 chunks. That's a nice middle ground between unplayable and very nice. I also set the tick speed to 50 for a moment to see if that would impact the frame rate. Okay, secretly it wasn't even an idea that it would impact the frame rate, I just did that for convenience for me when I was playing the game, but that definitely did impact the frame rate quite a bit. It was dropping about 10 frames per second compared to before, but it's still pretty playable. But again, the best you can do is about 5, 6, 7, 8 chunks right in that area with the low settings. Turn off smooth lighting, turn off the fancy leaves, and if you do that, you might get close to 50, which is pretty neat. Either way, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was informative. I know it is not informative because who is using this CPU in 2024 besides me? Probably not many. You can probably count the total amount of people using this on two hands. Yeah, it's not much. Either way, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to help support the channel when it comes to making videos like this, consider becoming a member. It does help out getting new hardware to test out, or old hardware actually most of the time, but it helps out indeed, so if you want to help the channel out, consider doing that. Either way, thank you very much for watching this video, and have a great day.